Hello YouTube and welcome to Tuts Up my name is Abjlili. And this time I am trying a new way with my tutorials. And I hope you will like it. This new type of tutorials, is going to be all about graphic design using Affinity Designer or any other design programs and After Effect basics. So, this is going to be little bit of simple tutorial. And here is what we are going to make today. So let's go ahead and open Adobe After Effects, and let's begin by creating a new composition. You can either click this icon over here or simply use the shortcut Ctrl N. And this will bring up the new composition settings. You can name your composition anything you want. I am gonna name mine Tuts Up Intro. For me the resolution will be 1920 by 1080 and you can pick any color you want for the background color. Mine will be this color. Now go ahead and click OK. Now the first thing that we will do is to create a rectangle by clicking twice on the rectangle tool in the top toolbar. And for our rectangle we will remove the fill color, and we will give him instead a white stroke with 10 pixels width. Now in the layer below go to the rectangle path options, and change its size to 250 by 250. And make sure to uncheck this checkbox so you can freely change the dimensions. After that give it a 125 roundness to get a perfect circle. Now let's begin our first animation. So let's go to the position in this layer. And let's add a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch icon. After that move the circle to the first position. Now let's move forward in the timeline to give it the second position. And as you can see every time I move the circle, a new keyframe will be added in the timeline. And this is basically how animation work in After Effect. Now after finishing all the keyframes, let's press space to see how the animation looks like for now. Now obviously the animation looks so basic for now. And to make it look better let's begin by converting all these keyframes to be easy ease. And to do that select them all and click F9 in the keyboard. By doing that the animation will look a bit smoother as you can see. Now let's make it look even better by using the graph editor right here. Make sure you are at the speed editor in this menu. So this is basically the speed editor between keyframes and the animation. And to make it look real we have to make it slower at the beginning. And after it hit the floor we will make it faster. And when it bounce up it will be slower. And at the end it will gain speed to go back to the final position. Now let's look at the animation now. As you can see it look more realistic this time. Now let's make it transform into a rectangle. And to do that we will add a new keyframe for the roundness at the frame 23 in the timeline. Now after moving forward in the timeline. Change the roundness value to 0. And like the first keyframes we will make them easy ease by using the F9 key in the keyboard. And as you can see the animation is working as intended. Now let's add the final rotation animation by adding a new keyframe for the rotation just after the beginning of the transformation animation. And at the same end we will make it rotate at 90 degree make the keyframe easy ease as usual. And now let's see the final animation. Yes it's just how I wanted it. So the next thing will be adding the text for the logo using the type tool in the top toolbar.
Now to make the animation for the text we will first add a new rectangle using the rectangle tool. And this time our rectangle will have a fill and no stroke. Go ahead and resize the rectangle to a 20 pixel width and 600 pixel height. And position it to the left side of the logo. And now let's begin making the animation for it. We will begin by animating its size to make it appear just after the animation of the previous rectangle. And to do that we will give him zero height in the first keyframe. And after a couple frames we will make it appear with its full height. Look like everything is working fine. Now after its appearance we will move him into the other side of the logo by animating its position. Don't forget to easy ease all the keyframes. As you can see a keyframe appeared in the anchor point option. Don't worry about it. It's just a problem with my program and it won't happen for you. Now after moving it to the right side add another keyframe with the same position to let it stay for a little bit in that side. After that we will move it back to its original position. And to quickly do that you can just copy the first keyframe using Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste it at the position of the timeline indicator. And as you can see the animation is working fine. Now press F9 for the easy ease effect. It look like it is moving too fast, so let just add some more time in the middle. Now select all the keyframes and go to the graph editor. And we'll just make this modification to make the animation look smoother. And as you can see it look way better now. Now the trick to make the text appear behind the line is like this. Add a new rectangle the same way we did it last time. Resize it to just cover the logo. And move it exactly at the left side of the line. Now we have to move its anchor point to the left edge, using the anchor point tool from the top toolbar. Now we will animate him to move to the right with the line. And to do that we will simply copy the two keyframes responsible of that movement using the Ctrl C shortcut from the keyboard. And then after selecting the rectangle layer and making sure the timeline indicator is at the position of the animation beginning press Ctrl V to paste the animation to the rectangle layer. And as you can see the first motion is the same at both layers. Next move the first text layer just under the rectangle layer, and change its track mat into alpha mat. And you will notice right away that the trick is working as intended. Congratulation, now repeat the same thing with the other text layer, and this time make it appear from the right side of the line. Thank you guys I hope you have a lot of fun making this animation. So once again this is Abjali with Tuts Up and I've got more tutorials coming up soon, please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it, you can also click the thumbnail and watch another design creation video from this channel. See you next time guys.